everybody, Sagittarius, happy February 2018. I hope you're having a great year so far. I hope you are beginning to feel the wheels turning into motion um, as we get into this lovely, lovely month and, um, and things finally start moving again. So you, for you, you are going to be going into February with the focus on getting your thinking and your communication just right. And when I connected with what that was about, I heard for love. So for some of you, there is going to be a big focus on, I want to be able to say things in just the right way now. I'm tired of not being able to make myself understood clearly. I'm tired of, you know, the, it is an old cliche of, you know, the foot in mouth thing um, of the, the Sag is not always being the most tactful and not always saying the right thing. And there is a real sense that when you go into February um, in this particular year, in this loved up month, that you are going to be wanting to let go of not believing yourself, not believing in yourself in love and trusting that you're going to be able to say the right thing at the right person in just the right way. Uh, sorry, say the right thing to the right person at just the right time in just the right way. Something like that, you know, where everything all just comes together perfectly. Breathe, Sag, breathe, relax. It's going to be okay. And for some of you, this is going to be in a, a long-standing bond some of you it's going to be approaching someone new i'm not specifically doing valentine's readings but i'm getting that love vibe with you so i just thought i'd say it and it has come up for some of the signs and when it does i'm just saying it more than usual because well you know <laughs> okay so that's what you're really going to be focusing on in february the communication and the thinking. Now the thinking is the thing, isn't it? What do you think of yourself? What kind of messages are you giving yourself? When you think, how are you thinking? When you think about yourself, that's what's got to change. You've got to start thinking about yourself in a much more hopeful and positive way. You've really got to stop telling yourself off. You've got to stop berating yourself or thinking that you've, you may have done it right or you may have not done it right or is it, you know, is it okay that I did this or did I, should I have done that? Should I have done more? Could I have done more? Might this have worked out if I'd done more? If I'd, if I'd said more? And that's not just to do with love. That's to do with career. That's to do with everything. Um, you're going to need to stop second guessing yourself and start believing in yourself again. Start trusting yourself. And I know it's so easy to say it. Um, but let's just see what the cards say. Okay, so first week, second week, third week, fourth week of February. And what do the angels want Sag is to know about the month of February in 2018. What are the messages from the Archangel Oracle for Sag's? There you go, I just heard stop. So we've got first week, second week, third week, fourth. So for the first week, Sag, oh that's lovely. Okay, so there is a lot of harmony around you. There is a lot of harmony around you or there is great potential for harmony around you. What you need is inner harmony. That's what you need to work on. Um, there is also a sense of nostalgia. There's a sense of looking back over something. For some of you, this will just be uh, wanting to find that inner harmony. It's not necessarily that there is another person. Some of you will just be thinking, I want that. I want to feel that sense of deep connection with someone. I want to go back to a time when I felt that. Or I want to go back to a time in me when I felt that it was possible, when I believed in it. I want to go back to that person. Maybe that was the person. Maybe I didn't give that long enough or give that enough of a chance. Maybe I didn't find the right words to say in just the right way at just the right time to that person. So there's going to be some of that possibly, some looking backwards. And there's also going to be a need to be compassionate towards yourself. And the card says, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So for those of you who are in a relationship, who are wondering how to achieve more harmony, how to enjoy more harmony, this will be 
one of the keys is going to be to be kinder towards yourself and the way that you think and the way that you judge yourself. So this is the theme, as you can see, that's being reiterated by the cards. Now in the second week, and if you do that, you will find that all of your, har your relationships become more harmonious. The kinder you are to yourself when you're thinking, the better your relationships will be. And then the more you'll start to believe in yourself again, because at the moment you're uh, inability or perceived inability in relationships is very much seems very much tied up to your with your sense of self-belief or lack thereof okay your second week okay memories of love okay so that again so second week again you're going to be thinking back a little bit nostalgia did I do the right thing? Did I give that long enough? Did I try hard enough? It's, there's a lot of love stuff going on for you. Um, but again, it's very much about you trying to find that harmony within yourself and not telling yourself off so much. So I feel that there is a possibility of someone coming back into your life in the second week. For some people, that will actually be a tangible physical reality that someone from the past will come back and you know that is not an unusual thing to happen around this time of year that people sometimes start freaking out and getting all sort of single and um, single feeling you know and uh, and so uh, things can happen um, you're being asked to trust your clairsentience trust your gut trust your feelings um, trust the reality of how you feel rather than the times. The message of the times can sometimes be deceptive. Um, that sentimentality, that nostalgia, sometimes it's not real. Sometimes it's based on those things exactly, you know, the times and the insecurities. And um, it's going to be an interesting adventure for you to notice what you're really feeling because that's where you'll get divine guidance coming in and I feel that there is a possibility that you will be tempted back into something and it might be good for some obviously it will be good for some it will be the thing that was meant to be and it will be right to give it a second chance for some it won't be but let's just see um, okay recognition and reward that's an interesting one to get there so by the time you get to the third week <laughs> If you focus on what you're doing, you're changing your thinking and what you're really trying to achieve at the moment, which is believing in yourself and your life path and your life purpose, you will start to get some recognition or you will see signs of being recognised. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted, don't get thrown off course. Notice what you feel when you get tempted into old situations. Notice whether it's actually what you want. Notice whether it's what your heart is saying to you or whether you're just kind of looking for a displacement activity to, to distract you from what you know you need to be focusing on. Um, ask Archangel Michael to clear your chakras, to clear your energy. That to me in this context says that it's possible that there is someone thinking about you. For some of you it will be someone um, connecting with your energy and it's, it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. It could be. So go ahead, explore. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life at all. These are just messages, indications, uh, possibilities, potentialities. And it's always, always, always down to your free will to choose. And you are being told to use your sensitivity and your clairsentience to filter through what is the truth of the situation. Okay? So, but you know that if someone's thinking about you very strongly, that can feel like a pull, that can feel like a connection, that can feel like this is what's meant to be, but actually it's just an entanglement and it's up to you to decide which is which. So that all feels like a really interesting, fun, potentially romance filled February because sometimes a bit of distraction is quite nice, right? Um, however, you are being called to something else also, and that is to build your sense of self-belief and to start speaking to yourself in the right way, first and foremost, and to learn how to speak to someone that you're interested in um, from that place of confidence and self-belief, rather than feeling as if you're a bumbling person with no sense of who you are and therefore it's all going to go wrong. I hope that makes sense.
build your inner core and then everything you say will be right because it will come from a place of, of strength and confidence and and um, truly being who you are and that's what's really attractive so you can't get that wrong okay so hope that's your so the last week fantastic this sense of recognition and reward, if you continue to focus on your self-belief building, see that's even the number three, which is the third house, which is all about thinking. It's saying to you, if you think in the right way, if you talk to yourself about yourself in the right way, if you strengthen your self-belief, you have a lot coming for you that's going to bring you that recognition, that's going to bring you even more hope, sunshine, good times to build on going into the future. All is well. Look at this gold and abundance and acknowledgement. It's wonderful. Acknowledgement from the angels that all is well and that you're on the right path. If life purpose is um, in some doubt at the moment, don't get distracted. Stay focused. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So if anything has been held up slightly just understand that these have been the times that we've been working through that's been the energy that we've been in at the beginning of the year um things did not <laughs> kick off in the way that a lot of us thought or hoped they would do with all those planets going direct and all that excitement that always comes at the beginning of a new year it was very much a time of reflection for many of us and so Sometimes there's a tendency to think nothing's happening, nothing's changing, nothing's moving. That is not the case. It's a question of digging in deeper sometimes. Sometimes the movement goes um, broader, wider and deeper rather than further, faster. And there is movement. There is movement. There is the kind of movement, momentum and change that will ensure that changes that you make now will last you for a much longer time going further into the future. Okay, Sag, so it's looking great for you. And don't get hung up on this being all of February. What happens in February, I feel, is really indicative of what's going to be unfolding for you over the next year. Because to me, that kind of feels like the turning point. Uh, not exactly the beginning of the year, but it feels like the when the wheels, the cogs start turning again. And... Um, things start moving so just go with that and um, I hope you have a fantastic February 2018 and enjoy the rest of the year I'm sure we'll speak again soon if you want to book a reading with me there's a link below the video take care bye